All right, what's up my friends? Welcome to Mog Monday. That's right, Mog Monday is here. And uh, we're gonna rename the show to Runvelt Horde Master Monday because Runvelt Horde Master is also here. Uh, we got our first taste of Runvelt Horde Master last week in Modern. Now we're hopping over to Historic, home of Muxus Goblin Grandee. And of course, Goblins and Historic was the best deck in Historic for a while back in the day. Hasn't really been the best deck uh, lately. But Horde Master is a huge upgrade here, uh, giving another another good two drop to the deck as well as good card advantage. Of course, if you haven't seen Rumble Horde Master yet, you're missing out. Two minutes for a one one. It's a Lord. That part's not that relevant. What is relevant is whenever it or another Goblin dies, exile top card of your library. If it's a Goblin, you may play it until your next turn, which is sick. So huge card advantage engine. Uh, kind of almost invalidates Goblin Goblin Ring Ring Leader, uh, and makes the deck much less, less reliant on Muxus Goblin Grandee. Also means we're going to want to keep uh, cheap creatures in our deck as much as possible so we can cast them all. That makes War Chief very appealing as it reduces costs on things. And just having a full set of 16 2-drops is pretty great as well. So, nothing too crazy out of the ordinary here. Just uh, Horde Master in Historic Goblins. And uh, let's just get right to the freaking games. Brought to you, bud. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Let's go. Chat. Coming out with me. We're on the play. It's late night. I'm up against Monday, Monday Night Football here, which is okay. Which is okay. My fantasy, my fantasy went, went great. Patrick Mahomes is really, really good. I'll keep this. Some Canyon Slews. Help prospectors, you make it all work. Can we please get a Vigilante SCG 2010s compilation All Star Tour. Me, Brad, Brad, Jerry, BBD, Corey, Raw. I mean, that would be cool. I mean, consider it. I, I have no, I have no power. I have no jurisdiction over that, my friend. Um, it, I mean, that would be cool. Yeah, it sounds great. You know. Uh, all right, so we're gonna breeding pool. Huh? I think we should have Tapland Prospector here. And uh, we're going to play Tapland. I want, to, I want some more info what's going on here. It was breeding pool. Try to get the Horde Master going, if possible. Is Horde Master more impactful to Goblin decks than the new Elf is to Elf decks? I think so. Yeah, the Elf is pretty good, but I don't think it's like crazy good or anything. All right, so it looks like some sort of like blue-green rampy deck. Let's play our Horde Master. Resolves instantly. And let's attack for four. Also resolves instantly. I just play a Crypt Tap here. There's a new, uh, new interface here. Hmm, interesting. And so you go. What's up, If No? How's it going, my friend? Appreciate it. Yeah, late night, uh, late night stream. It's like some sort of like reclamation deck or something. We got the old late night stream tonight. I had some busy, I had a busy, uh, busy day today. So hopping on late for Model Monday, and we're gonna jam. Just send it. Just laying beats. Alright, yeah, I mean, here's the Sling Gang. They didn't cast Growth Spiral, they didn't... I mean, they will eventually do something or they'll, or they'll die, so... <laughs> that works for me. I mean... We're gonna pay this, right? We just pay the two and get two triggers off Horde Master? Yeah, I'm just gonna pay here. Sacrifice a Goblin. Trigger... Horde Master. It is still the end of your next turn. And then pay this one. So both mana abilities, they have to be resolved first, and then these two must stack. We reveal an expert and a uh, a land. Make some sling gang cranes as they go. That's pretty fun. So this is like blue-green, like, you know, frilled mystic, night pack ambusher, like garbo tempo deck. Cool. Uh, and now they've ambusher, I have expert. I have two experts. All right, so uh, just jam here, please. They are dead on board. D-O-B. It's in the game. Simic Flash. Yeah. It's a relic of standard of a time period. Yeah. Um, the cards of his deck just, like, aren't really good enough. For is just not a very good card. Like, <laughs> speak of the devil. All right. Uh, yeah, I will. I will kill your frilled mystic that you played as a three-two, and uh, take a bunch, and you're dead. Cool, cool, so cool. 
It's not Core Master first, actually, so I'm not sure. All right, so pretty comically easy game there. Um, you need to watch out for counter spells. So we're going to want to have a nice low curve here. I would say we are a little soft to the card uh, Nightpack Ambusher, which is the 4-4 for 4, 4, 4, that whenever you pass the turn and don't play any spells, you get a 2-2. Two -two. Um, I don't know if I want to breed. I don't know if I want to do anything, honestly. Like, I'm not thrilled about having Muxus in my deck against the counter spell deck, but... Hmm. A braid doesn't really kill enough other things, I don't think. And I honestly kind of like Thoughtseize. Because we need to just like get around their counter spells. Especially in the draw here. I'm going to cut the Mons. I'm going to cut a Muxus. And I might cut Crank Dog too. Is my list or stolen? I would never, never steal a deck list. It's in my list. It's in my list. Not exactly revolutionary or anything, but... Um, yeah, I want some thoughts. I want, like, three thoughts, I think. And let's cut... I'm gonna cut Chieftain, too, honestly. Can we Crank Dog? I want to, like, lower the curve as much as possible. Like, as much as possible. Might even just cut Krenko and Muxus, honestly. We're just, like... You just don't... I don't ever want to fall behind their counter spells. Uh, that's the way they actually win. As long as they, they can't do that, they just can never win because their deck's terrible. So, But if they get, if they get ahead, they're, they're, they're actually pretty good when they're ahead. But if they, as long as you don't allow them to get ahead, it's great for you. So, Alright. Thomas. Thomas. What's up, Cheesy? How's it going, folks? If you're sitting welcome to the stream, my name is Jim. How's it going? First time here. Full-time full full -time content creator. Watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Watching on make sure you follow the stream. A little rare night stream for me. Busy day today. Ooh, that is uh, not a very good hand. If I knew for a fact my top card was like Dragon Skull Summit, maybe, but no, I can't keep his hand. We have Thought Seize, but no pressure. And again, the, the one number one rule against decks like my opponent's deck is just don't fall behind and your deck is great. If you ever fall, fall behind, your deck's deck terrible. So we're going to mulligan here into a mediocre hand. We're going to keep Ship an Expert. Hand's not great. No, uh, no one or two drop. Gonna play Death Whirler soon. Um, that could be on the uh, on the agenda. Oh, I, they they actually changed it. They switched it. It's backwards the way it used to be. Someone said that said that in chat that it screwed them up. Why would they make it backwards the way it was used to be? What the like? Why the hell would they do that? <laughs> sure. All right. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Just like flop the buttons around. Every update we just like like to like, you know swap the buttons around a little bit. Keep it, keep it, keep everyone on their toes. Keep them all on their toes. All right. So we see third land here, and they say go. All right. Um, we're gonna matron here into their quench or whatever. I'm trying to save Warchief for later. We got Snoop Essence Scatter. Sure. So resolving Snoop next turn would be pretty sweet. Practice passage. We're probably in trouble this game because we're like our hand was bad and we're behind. And again, this is just like a very polarizing like if you're ahead, you're you're winning. If you're behind, you're losing kind of game kind of deck. So let's play land, play Snoop, Snoop Gob. Plays around Quench, Thrill Mystic, sure. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Again, if we ever you know play a one drop and a two drop here, the Mystic's just terrible. But whatever. Scavenging ooze. Okay. In for three. Still three cards in hand. It's a decent amount of cards. We have two creatures in our graveyard. Draw a den of the bugbear. Alright. Galvin Warchief. We're just gonna say go. Um No attacks. They're going to eat Graveyard, eat Graveyard, I cast Expert, kill Frill Mystic. Do you mull often looking for Prospector or Haste Lords? Not really. I don't think you need to mulligan that aggressively. You want to have like a, a decent curve, but... Alright, so they just didn't, they didn't activate again. So, certainly a possible counter spell here. No blocks. Alright, 
Um, we just untapped. Uh, untap here, I think. Draw a Skirk Prospector. Of course, the Fear is a Nightback Ambusher. We have an Expert. Um... Yeah, it's not great. I mean, the ambusher we end up trading it for the war chief and the expert, which is not like great, but I'm probably just dead here, honestly. But whatever. Burn, reset. Thanks so much. Say go. The ambusher, we kill ooze, or do we kill a uh, mystic. Petty theft, my war chief. So if I were to sack the war chief here. We would fizzle the, we would kill Brazen Borrower, essentially. Um, which I think is very reasonable. So, let's just, um, three, one extra. Yeah, we can't really kill Scavenging Ooze. Let's just kill the Frill Mystic. And probably start of Scavenging Ooze. So they're going to eat the, yeah. I think these decks are, are very, very bad. Because they basically are only good when your opponent's, like, not doing well. So they're... They're bad in the games where your, your opponent's deck just isn't doing anything, and they're good in the games where... I'm sorry, they're good in the games where your, your, your opponent isn't doing anything, and they're bad in the games where they have good draws. I said it really badly. They're bad when your opponent has a good draw. Uh, we'll, we'll, there you go, that's what I was trying to say. Uh, which is not a great place to be, I think. You know, because if your opponent has a good draw, you just can't win. So, right, I'll fizzle that. And uh, we don't really have any great draws here, honestly. You know, now that they have counter spells up, and Mux is not in our deck anymore. This is who shakes the world. All right, yeah, we'll just go to the house. Take one more turn, I guess. The that bind us all. all right, so fire up a Lando. Yeah, let's go next game. We're fine. All right, so now we're on the play. All their cards are pretty bad on a draw, and then we'll just have a better hand, hopefully, because we obviously mulligan into a pretty bad hand that game. We got 16 two drops, four thought seeds, four one drops. Could not be less worried. On the play. Hand's great. Eh, it's not great. It's a little awkward, but we'll keep it. You get the old tap land. Summit. Just fine. Play Summit. Uh, we'll resolve Snoop on two if we're looking to encounter it, which is great. No Spell Snare in Historic. Could be a cool card to have, though. So we're going to go Bugbear, and I think just Snoop. What's up, Soul? Just another Mog Monday. Excuse me. What's going on, opponent? A little scry action, a little temple of mystery. Mystery mobile over here. Scry top, very lucky. All right, bugbear, snoop, and matron on top. So great. So at present we are ahead. There's an playing relic over hearse. Hearse is better in decks that want a threat. Relic is better in decks that are synergy deck that want to draw more of their synergy pieces. So I want to draw more goblins. So Relic just cycles, you draw another goblin. It's better in your, better in your synergy deck. All right, so we're going to uh, play a land and cast... Or, yeah, play a land and cast Thoughts easier. See what the old uh, the old hand holds. Pull good old Black Leaf Glyphs, I know, right? And their hand is literally Aethergust, Essence Scatter, Nissa. Their hand is Terrible. Uh, all right, so we're going to take the Essence Scatter and cast Horde Master. I imagine they'll maybe Aether Gust it, maybe not. I don't even know, honestly. Gusting it denies me uh, a Snoop card next turn, which is kind of cool, but it's not like that good, honestly. So, might Gust a Snoop. That's fine, too. Sure. Put Snoop on top. I'm cool with that. So, resolve the Horde Master. They have four lands and a Nyssa. Play Forest. Brazen Borrow or the Horde Master. I mean, that doesn't seem good at all because now I just get to recast both of them, right? Sweet. Up this. Play Snoop. Play Horde Master as they go. Right back in action. Throw turning to include a Courtyard and Masked Vandal on the board. Um, Courtyard doesn't cast Thoughtseize. You're going to play like actual black cards in your sideboard. It's a little tough. Um, so, it's definitely an idea. Masked Vandal is pretty sweet. Play Snoop. 
It's not a card of the land. We're not gonna expert data borrower. We don't really care about borrower at all. It can't, it can't even block here. I don't know why that main phase it honestly doesn't make any sense to me, but um, red. Uh, we're gonna play matron and go get probably like another horde master. We want a nice cheap threat. Already have the expert. Yeah, probably. And then attack these. No cheeky Lelia in the sideboard. Lelia is not a goblin, you know? It's not really on plan. Lelia's a card you don't really play a lot, a lot of kill spells. We don't really have a lot of kill spells. So they're gonna. I think I cast Nissa here. Alright. So they have like Nissa untap breeding pool, cast Aether Gust. Like maybe that is a, a path to victory for them, but. Nope, just Island. Alright, so we uh, untap. We have a mountain on the top of our deck. Which is not the most exciting. And there's dead, yeah. So, again, I, I think these, these flash decks are just so bad. Like, because they're, they're, they're not very fun to play with or against for the most part because they're very, very polarizing. Like, none of those games were remotely close. You know, in game two, we were on the draw with a bad hand, didn't have a, a play till turn three, and we got crushed because we fell behind. But if you ever just get ahead in any way, you can just never lose. So, we'll take it. Jamming on the play. Keep the old slew. The old slew helping me out here. Anyone uh, for the YouTube comments? The uh, the game is named that tune. We were jamming a little music between uh, the between games here on stream, waiting for the next uh, the next game. And uh, is it Guildgate? Ooh, the Gates deck. My Gates deck, and uh, it's, a, it's a banger. So if you can name it, if you can name that tune from what I just did, you get a you get a high five in the YouTube comments. Is it Guildgate? I have not played the Gates deck with the new uh, with the new gate yet. The new uh, Magmatic Confluence gate. All right, let's play War Chief and just go. I watch for Gates of Blaze here, but of course the Run Belt Horde Masters are great against Gates of Blaze. So, Gates is pretty fun. It is a game soundtrack. Obviously, I'll not reveal it, as do not spoil it for uh, people. We got Mazes and Explore. No land. <laughs> Folks, if you're playing the Gates that gotta have the lands, alright? Um, we get like. It's funny, I think I actually want a Matron for a War Chief. So after they wrath me, I can cast everything super easily. Slaughter Games is on Arena? Really? Huh. I don't know about. Uh, let's go War Chief. Let's go Matron. Let's go Matron, Matron. Matron for Matron. For War Chief. I'm trying to get ready for a post wrath, a post Gates of Blaze world here. All right, so we attack for a bajillion. They weren't dead if I played the other, other uh, Horde Hor Master, were they? It was plus four damage, no, but they would have gone to one. But now they're dead. So Horde Master triggers every goblin that dies. I get to exile a top card, and if it's a goblin, I can cast it. And they are dead. Play War Chief, play Wily Goblin, play Horde Master, and you are dead. Good old Horde Master. I guess the Horde Master didn't do that much there. Um, I guess it did exactly enough to kill them, but. We'll take that. Okay. Yeah, we'll take it. Blouses. Four thoughts these. Slam them. Uh, no upgrade, thank you. Um, biggest concern of them is obviously just Gates of Blaze. Just don't want to get Wrathed. And Horns Relic. I don't know if one of these cards are particularly good. We can shave on like an Expert or two. Um, I think the Monzi can go. And... Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Matron's pretty good. Sling Gang, Crank Dog. Crank Dog's pretty bad against Gates of Blaze, I guess. Hmm. What do we want to cut? It could be like a Snoop. Because we're like. Not. I guess it's. I don't know. It's kind of weird because, like, there's like. They're like sort of like. Uh, control combo. Which is typically a very bad matchup for goblins. But their. Their combo is very slow. They're more of like a. You know, a board controly rampy deck. So, why well, keep expert? They have Rams. Uh, they can have Hydroid Crisis. Um, it's just like you know, it's just fine. I don't, I don't want to cut down that many. So, 
Squee too bad for a Stork in 75. I can see maybe playing one for like super grindy matchups to escape, but it's not that great. It's all right. It's not that great. Um, what are we going to cut here? We got to cut one. I think Muxus. Muxus is great and all, but it's a little clunky. They might have Aether Gust on their board. Muxus in Modern Horizons 3. I mean, I don't know. I think. It would definitely change goblins in modern forever. Um, not sure if it's for the better or not, you know. All right, um, we're gonna get this. Sounds not great, but we got on the draw one drop, two drop, creature land. It's fine. Put a mulligan. Golgari Guildgate, powerful. All right, so. What did it? What did it used to be? Was it like? Was it? Because it was definitely. It's definitely backwards to what it used to be. Did it used to be here, like right here on the big screen, like pay or it used to be here, right? It wasn't them? It was this little thing over here. I don't like that at all. It used to be here, right? Yeah, it, like wasn't in play yet, and it was. It was like right here in the, in the main area. So that's just. That's just. That's just abhorrent. That's terrible. Yeah, like that's that's awful. What an awful change. That's gotta be a mistake, right? Like an oversight. Top cards, thought sees. Oh, I got thought sees the crap out of him. Explore, sure. So we get to potentially double thought sees if necessary, but thought sees at least once. Top card is a land. Thought sees, yeah. They have extinction event in their deck. Interesting. And there's your ram I wanted to kill, so. Um, they have a lot of gates for ram. Ram is Vigilance, too. Ram is really good. Um, we have Horde Master. Like, Extinction Event plays around Horde Master, but it's kind of, like, awkward. We can, like, sort of play around it. I don't think it's the Ram back here, actually. The Ram is just, like, defends really well and plays all the, with, the, with their massive rule spells, too. You can just Ram. Take the Ram. We're going to play Mountain. I'm just going to play Wily Goblin. If they want to gate to blaze this board, totally fine. Then we'll still see them play a creature, so. And then we'll say go. What's up, Raph? Let's go, my friend. Elf deck is nice. Deck's a lot of fun. Yeah, I think Historic's a great format. I know everyone bitches about it, about the alchemy cards and stuff. And like digital only, blah blah blah, Hearthstone. But like Historic's a great format. It is a Brewer's Paradise. There's a lot of fun cards in it. Um it's relatively unexplored compared to like modern, which is a lot of like tournament play. So Historic's freaking great. They're an extinction event. All right, sure. So now I get to Horde Master Thought Seize. Rex, resub, thanks so much. How about that new Merfolk? We're going to talk about Merfolk here. It's fucking Mock Monday, my friend, right? There's no Merfolk talk here in this channel. Deafening Larian or Gates of Blaze. Great. All right, well, that's annoying, but sure. All right, so we have the uh, Den. We have a Horde Master, obviously. Yeah, obviously the Arena Economy has, has its own problems, but... All right, so they have Baldur's Gate and Maze's End. They also have the Gate of Citadel, so a little bit, little bit of card draw there, draw a spell. Can't draw a spell, sure. All right, well, if we can stop drawing lands, that would be sweet. That would be really, really cool. I'd appreciate that, but this is fine, honestly. We get in for five here. Six, seven, sorry. I can't even do math. And now if they Clarion, we have to draw two triggers off of the Horde Master. Card's really good. Uh, really, really good. I'm not playing Gem Bomb. Gem Bomb is very bad with Horde Master. It's very bad with Muxus. Uh, it's it's fine. I could I, I had one in the deck when I was building it uh, this morning as like you know a, a, a tutor target, but it's just like not that great. Um, I think that playing awkward, awkwardly with Horde Master is a is a big downsell and Muxus too. But I could see playing one. You know, it's an answer to like. You know, Hushbringer or some weird random stuff, uh, you know, in corner cases. And obviously drawing cards great too, but they're going to Clarion here, sick. So we get to get two triggers off our Horde Master. And we're going to hit a Sling Gang and another Horde Master. <laughs> Bingo! All right. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? All right. Uh, they're going to make some mana. Play a second Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I the, think their, their list is pretty, pretty different than my Gates list, uh, which I think is very, very good. Not too much Horn, but that was a, uh, a freshly brewed from a while back. We missed Freshly Brewed last week. I'm sorry, everyone. But, um, you know, baby's coming. It's pretty uh, pretty crazy stuff going around here. So, 
All right, they got land, sure. We drop Prospector, sure. We just do it all. I'll play you, and, and make some tokens, and Wardmaster. Play this bad boy, too. Obviously, if they, uh, if they want to Wrath again, we just sling gang them five times and draw five cards, so it's pretty cool. They are very far from mazes that went out of safe gates of blaze, so sack everything. Sack the prospector. I guess we can't sack the uh We're gonna yeah, let's we'll, we'll sack this thing and lose one trigger, I think. We'll see what uh what, what our hits are, right? So if we like miss three times, we'll value the card from Horde Master over the one damage of Sling Gang. We did not miss twice, so if it two non uh two non goblins. hit three non-goblins. All right, we're going to sacrifice the Sling Gang and take two triggers off Horde Master. Rather than, if I, if I sack Horde Master first, then I, I won't get a trigger when this thing dies. So we're going to uh, lose out on one damage to get one extra trigger on Horde Master. So we've hit nothing here. We hit a Wily Goblin. All right, two, seven. Trigger this thingy, and we hit a Goblin Matron. That's pretty good. Uh, is that lethal? Blood Crypt. Uh, matron for Chieftain? It's lethal, right? Didn't do the math, because I'm not a nerd. nerd! I think we're one short, actually. Yeah, we're one short, aren't we? Oh, yeah, whatever. Play Wally Goblin. Play Chieftain. Worst case, they're at one, and I have Bugbear and play, so... So one short, um, they're playing Assassin's Trophy. Oh, I, I hate their list, sure. Uh, all right, that's fine. They have no cards left once again. We have a Bugbear for lethal, right? Three, four, five, so that's only six actually, but they have no spells and no way to activate their spell land or whatever. They have six unique gates for Maze's End. So they have a, they have a ways to go. There's Maze's End. So it means you probably didn't draw a spell. Can I double activate the Dead and the Bugbear? I can, actually. Oh, they're actually dead. Holy crap. We have double activate on... Oh, we also do Horde Master, too. All right, yeah, never mind. So we can activate this thing twice, in theory. But we can also just Horde Master, too, so... Yeah, that works, too. Yeah, sure. We'll take that, too. We'll take that too. After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancake. All right, sweet. A uh, a solid commanding 2 up. Snapcaster. Uh, the mulligan, we have slew. Yeah, we can keep this. It's not great, but you draw like a land. Dragon, sweet. What's up, dragon? First time shatter. Affinity slew. We drew the land. We're sick. We're sick. Sick. Just when I thought I was out. They pulled me back in. All right, we got a little uh, ingenious smith action here. And a retrofitter foundry. Sure. Portable hole is definitely going to be good against us. But whatever, I guess. Could have experted down the smith, but... Eh. Odawara, nettle cyst. Nettle cyst is pretty good. It's a 2-2. Easy war chief here. Phyrexian Tower. Fancy. Oh, you fancy, huh? Alright, war chief's in. Attack for three. They're at 15. It's funny, we have second war chief, and like this colorless land doesn't help us out that much, but there's the portable hole. Tilt. <laughs> RJ. Good luck, my friend. Double foundry. No ornithopter. Another war chief. Uh, all right. I mean, we can like like war chief matron for Muxus. I could have a uh, a thingy here. Sure. Uh, this is a pretty sick hand, honestly. Good hand for them. Uh, I'll decline. I'll just play matron, and we'll go get a Mux father. We need the old Muxus here. Alright, so. Don't kill me. 
We get the chump and cast Muxus. Not sure why we're, we're main basing this, but sure. Instant speed. Quality of play is a little bit a little low today. That's okay. It's, it's late, you know. People are doing their thing, I guess. All right. Big Muxus. Unfortunately, we didn't draw land. So uh, we have to sacrifice our war chief for Muxus, which is terrible. Uh, we're at six. And we're a little short on experting down the smith. I just killed the smith on turn two, honestly. That's probably, that's probably a mistake. <laughs> yeah, we should have Muxus here, I guess. Alright, so we're going to announce Muxus. So locks in the cost at five mana. And then we're going to use the Frexian Tower to sacrifice the War Chief and pay for it. And you need a big Muxus here, folks. Oh, Daddy's home. Stay with me, folks. Daddy's home. Matron for another Muxus, probably. What are they at? Yeah, it's got the Muxus. So, kill that. 13 to 6. And I guess no attacks. We'll just say go here. Just don't draw a Shadow Spear. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, um. Goblin, Trash Master, and a Braid. Come on down. They do have Metallic Rebuke, so Muxus is definitely not a sure thing here. And they also have the Portable Holes to deal with my run the Velt Horde Masters, but I have the two Abraids and the Trash Master. I think I want to cut the Chieftain here. Uh, I kind of cut the Crank Dog. I guess Crank Dog, they can't really kill it, because not all their things deal with uh, things that cost two or three. I kind of want to cut a Muxus, actually. Uh, it's bad against Rebuke and kind of awkward. And maybe we cut a Snoop. Sure. I mean, because he's the trash man. Yeah, he's the trash man. Snap, <laughs> Casta. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is like a keep and lose kind of hand, I think, but we're going to keep. We already balling in this hand. Ornithopter. Moon Snare prototype. Man, I would love to have Spring Wave Drum in a. Uh... Oh, God. I, 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 I hate this. Somebody's playing a prank on me. I hate it. Why would they change it? It makes me so mad. What do you think, folks? Keeper Mulligan. Spring Leaf Drum should be in Historic. Keeper Mulligan. They have Artifact here, too. No, folks, come on. You just hold your Ornithopter and play it on turn two. Like, come on, folks. What's going on today? What's wrong with everyone today? Everyone's playing so loose. Um, I'm just going to fire up the old Snoop Gob. Top cards land. Might get portable hold here, but whatever, you know? I would love Spring Wave Drum and a Stork. All right, Glass Casket. Aether Vial, too. Ship the Aether Vial, yep. I'm in. Wirewood Symbiote? That would... Make the elf deck really, really good. Uh, I'm not saying I'm against it, but all right. I think we they they could easily have a uh, mana leak here. They only have three artifacts in play for monitor. We could have braid the uh, the glass casket, but all right. We'll just cast a, a wily goblin. I'm gonna cast horde master. They're gonna counter it, but whatever. It's fine. Yeah, like. They're going to counter, but whatever. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, we have another one. We got to burn through it eventually. Sure. So, down to two cards in hand. They only have three artifacts for a Thought Monitor. They could cast it, I guess. That's two. All right. Uh, a Braiding to free our Snoop is not crazy. And for three, sure. We draw a Rundvelt Horde Master again. So many Horde Masters. Uh, I don't really want to upgrade the Snoop just yet. Maybe it's Core Master Wily Goblin, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll double block the uh, Smith with both Goblins. I'm cool with that. I like that better. Two triggers, kill this. If, 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 if they attack, if they don't attack, it's fine, too. Another Casket. Damn. Where's my Trash Man at, you know? Cause he's the trash man. Yeah. 
All right, so... Oh, wow, they've they drawn pretty well here. All right, sure. Second thought monitor is pretty good. Her hand went from not so great to pretty good here, pretty fast. One of a another another rebuke too. Beerus. Foundry. Ah, oh, yeah. They're they're uh, they're all they're about all the way there at this point. I think we're going to game three. That's what I'm saying, Blade. Right? Snapcaster. It's not Snapcaster. It's Snapcaster. I who am I to say my opponent's name? I guess, but that's what I would think it would be. The Horde Master. They have another freaking rebuke too. It's so sick. All right. Well, I guess we're dead. Um. Make a 4 4 here. I can abraid. I guess I can abraid and free them. If they don't have a rebuke here, we can definitely win this game. They make a 4 4, pump the thing. If I get to, like, abraid the other Horde Master into play, block both of these, and just, like, get, like, four triggers or whatever. Snapcaster and Stork? I agree. I wrote an article uh, a little while back. On my wish list for uh, Stork Anthology. And, uh,. You can see here, I had some big ideas. I think that like with Pioneer gonna be with Pioneer on a on Arena now, I wanna really differentiate uh explore and, and historics. I had a lot of, a lot of ones I wanted to see there. So some fun ones for sure. Aether Vial, Flagstones. Check out the article so you can search for it. Snapcast, yeah. What's up, Pop Confidant? Alright, so we're gonna attempt to abrade the casket on Horde Master. Had a customer, what happened? They uh, drew a few thought monitors, and again, their hand got really good. As it often does when you draw a bunch of cards. Lighting it over Manus Rider? Yeah. The thing is, like, I, I was trying to make it like an anthology like Watsy would make, where not every card's a, like, a total banger, you know? And Manus Rider would obviously be better than Lightning Angel in the abstract, but I think Lightning Angel's a little more, a little more fun. I think that, like, one of the stated goals of Historic should be to have more cool historical cards, you know? Lightning, Lightning, Angel, Lightning Angel is a, I can't talk today. Lightning Angel is a classic magic card. I would love to see it uh, in uh, in the format. Maybe CC play again. That'd be really, really cool. So, all right. Um, I mean, these both die anyway. I could, like, double block here. But I can't take this much damage. I have to block this thing too. And these die regardless. I just double jump, I think. Alright. Here we go. Geist Saint Traft. Yeah, I love that card. Lighting Angel at Uncommon. I mean, that would make sense, but they would never do that. So whatever, you know, kind of thing. So four triggers, perhaps, trying to get back into this game. What's up, Goros? Goros says, loved your Historic Elves deck. Sweet. Took some ideas from my deck, made an explorer deck. It's got 32 and 5. Damn, that's awesome, my friend. Yeah, Elves is great. Elves is like sneakily very good. Ooh, expert. Expert. Snoop. Woo! Bingo! Alright. Uh we're gonna end step expert down the I might actually want to kill the flyers, honestly. Nettle cyst? Oh god. Alright. Anthology and alchemy cards should be commons. I might agree with that, but definitely think that the uh, acquisition. I mean, the thing is, for the anthologies, you just, you just buy them and you get all the cards. You know, it's cool. Um, I got to kill both flyers, I think, so we can keep blocking on the ground, which is kind of cool. Endurance and salty. Uh, I don't think I want those in historic. I think that the the goal of historic should be. To make the format as unique and different and pos different as possible from modern and pioneer, being a non fetch land format already makes it different from modern. And then I think you want to distance it pretty far from pioneer, but, but, but putting a lot of powerful cards in too. So, let's guess to do. Of course, Wily Goblin. Guess that too. And then this thing is like Servo Saga, Thurbo Saga, Thopter. We gotta kill this thing. Sure. Uh, we're like grinding this game, folks. War Master's pretty sick. I'm just gonna say go. I'm gonna upkeep, kill the Thought Monitor. Oh, I'm so freaking stupid. I punted. I, I, just, I just punted the game away. I I forgot the timing on Horde Master with, with Expert. I just was like totally brain farted. That's it. 
I'm going to clone code. Still a new card, folks. Still a new card. Awesome, Goros. It's very kind to me. Thanks so much. Cranko Goblin. We make Muxus Goblins. More fun. Probably worse, but more fun. Sorry, Jerry. What's up, my friend? Blue Eye Control List? What format? Ornithopter. Ornithopter. All I have to do is move the, uh, the sister over each die. Because I just punted. Yeah, I, I, I just punted the game away by accident. Whoopsie. Standard Blue Eye Control. Um, I haven't gotten to control in standard yet, but I will eventually at some point. It's the thing I would like to work on. Uh, game three on the play. Goblin Chain Whirler. Eh. Is Monzi good? Not really. They have a lot of bigger things. I guess it's not bad, though. We are kind of blocking a lot. Krenko, Sling Gang, Trash Master. Hmm. I think one Mons is good. This is good. I think we're fine. Snap cast it. Snap cast. Snappy, snappy. Alright, on the play. Hand is passable. Not great, but passable. More events in the future. I'm um, playing in Worlds in about a month. Bing month and a half, two months. Right. Almost two months. End of October. And then I'll be uh, playing in the DreamHack Regional Qualifier in November. And, God, I hate this new dialogue. Uh, and then, I think it was like an SCG in Philly at some point in November. But Drawing Trash Master would be pretty nice, you know? Noon Snare Prototype, sure. This is fine. Um, boundary. No Ornithopter, please. Shit. Oh, no. Boundary. Okay. Those don't do much by themselves, so that's cool, I guess. Matron. Alright, so we just Matron for Trash Master, I suppose. Goros, I got you. You're subbed. I didn't alert, but I see your, I see your, not your thing, though. Thanks, Goros. Appreciate that. Month number two, most important month. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. What happened to sweatsuits? I don't know. And just stop running them. Um, even if I get Trash Master now, it's like obvious it's coming, but that's fine. Get Trash Man, say go. Worlds is three rounds of draft, three rounds of explorer, and then day two, or maybe four rounds of explorer, and then all of day two is uh, standard. Cal, reset. Thanks so much. One year. Oof, I'm on there. All right, so they're gonna give me the uh, gonna give me the Trash Man here. I can resolve it if I. Uh, if I wanna. Um, Cause he's the trash man. World is the 28th of October. Now, they shouldn't have many ways to kill this because almost all their removal is either a glass casket or a, or a portable hole. They're gonna make one servo token. Pick my standard deck for Worlds yet? Worlds is in seven weeks. Um, no, I have not. <laughs> you gotta realize that Tournament Magic works, folks. Uh, most players don't select their deck until a few days before the event, if that. So, uh, got a long way to go. Lists are due, I think, the weekend before. So, got a lot of work to do. It should be streamed. Yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't be. That'd be pretty crazy not to stream it. So, can't promise it, but I believe it will be. And just say, yeah. All right, so. Lundvelt Horde Master. That's pretty good. I would like to play. Huh. What's that, Reach? Um, play my Horde Master? I guess I could, like, play around the Mana League a little bit with the Phyrexian Tower. Not really, I guess. Just play Horde Master. Horde Master. Then we have Expert for their turn, maybe. They can, um, pay one, sack a servo, untap it, and then make a 4-4. Four, four. Then I just, like, kill it, so whatever. And I make worlds. I did well in the, uh, set championships. Or attack. Here they come. You figure it out. What do you got for me? It's like the worst thing could happen. You're like, settle the record or something like that, you know? 
probably try to do some found, try and do some foundry shenanigans, and I trash master and expert things. I have a video on, on how I made worlds on YouTube. You can go watch it. Type in Jim Davis World Championship. No, nothing's here, huh? All right. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna say yeah. I'm gonna pass an expert up. Don't think arenas made so that the best decks are found faster. Um. Not really, honestly. A little bit, but make a servo, sure. I think the Magic Online did that already, for the most part. Alright, so they're going to tap two things and make a servo. Okay. Alright, so they probably have a, a counter spell here, but... I think failure to comply is a viable option to counter verdict. Not really. Honestly, I don't think it's that great. They're gonna play portable hole. Right, so play portable hole, target horde master. I'm gonna attempt to expert in response, we'll see what happens. Alright, we're gonna kill this. And we're gonna start blowing stuff blowing stuff up, I think. So we're gonna kill that. And then we can just like sack the matron to destroy the portable hole before they can even use it. So my Horde Master stays in play. Trash Man's pretty good. You know, mops things up pretty nice. Let's kill Vester, Horde Master. Horde Master is like so good with the sacrifice effects too. Like Prospector and uh, Trash Master and Sling Gang. Okay. Untap and draw a War Chief. That's pretty good. Play War Chief. I kill for Mog War Marshal here, you know. Play Matron. Get another Horde Master. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Horde Master is very, very, very good. Uh, just phenomenal in all of those games. It's, pretty good. It's, a good, it's a good card for War Chief, too. Like, Matron up for... It's kind of like getting a pile driver. It's cost one. It's cheap card to get with haste and stuff. Uh, that was... That was sick. Honestly, pretty quick 3-0. Our bonds didn't, didn't play super tight uh, in that set, but, I mean, that was awesome. Horde Master coming through, and... Boom. There it is. This list is... It's not completely optimized for Horde Master. Um, you know... I think that part of working with a new card like Horde Master is trying to figure out exactly how to make it make the deck work for Horde Master, not just add Horde Master to an existing deck. Um, definitely done that, done that to an extent for sure. We're not really a Muxus deck anymore. Uh, the War Chiefs felt felt very very good alongside Horde Master, which is very very nice. Uh, but there might be still some more tuning to do. Maybe like even a third Sling Yang because uh, the sacrifice effects are so good. That's why I added a second monster to the board because it just plays well with the sacrifice -y stuff. Um, but yeah, that was sweet. Great success so far with Horde Master here on, uh, on Mod Monday. So, Mod Monday's in the books. YouTube folks, I love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Episode 153 is in the books. We have our, our three-year anniversary of Mod Monday coming up. Uh, that's episode 156. And we'll have a nice celebration for that. Look forward to that in the future. Otherwise, like, comment, subscribe, and Mod Monday. And I'll, I'll see you folks uh, on, on stream and stuff.